Hey brother Reese, I'm here and I'm here with True Flix Network. You already know what it is. We're about to lift up the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey with a beautiful, powerful, not just imagination, a vision. And not just a vision, but, but he had the will and the spirit and he was moving with our ancestors. And here we are still 136 years later, lifting up his birthday. <laughs> Black power. Black power. Black power. Black power. Peace. Peace. Asalaamu Alaikum. Marcus Garvey believed the world made it a crime to be black and that self-love was the key to instilling self-pride and aspiring, inspiring, pardon me, the black race into action. Marcus Garvey's UNIA launched a black doll company. How many of you knew that? Raise your hand if you knew that. Ooh. Long before anybody else was making black dolls. My brother Marcus Garvey was doing that. Take a look at that picture there if you can see it. The image is extremely powerful. The enemy always knew this. The mind is made up of pictures. Whatever picture you put out is duplicated in the mind. It is reinforced. Hence why we have so much low self-esteem. Hence why so many sisters and brothers are doing things to just please people and how they look because we don't love ourselves. Peace family, brother Reza Islam here. We are here at the B14 day event. And what I did was I conducted, I would just say, a small basic history lesson on the work, accomplishments, and the overall progress of our brother, the Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. Today is his soul return and remembrance, and all I wanted to do was bring back to the mindset that economics, the spiritual building, and us coming together as a collective people is the only way to get out of the condition that we're in. Very simple. No game banging, no conscious game banging, no spiritual game banging. We are one people. Garvey knew that. That is what he pushed. That is what the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad pushes, Minister Farrakhan, and all of those who have since. And I was doing my best to just bring that back to the forefront. So it's B1. You already know what it is. But the reason I came all the way to Atlanta just to go ahead and share my few thoughts. Peace to the family. Peace to yours. Brother Rep Hill reporting live and direct. I'm very excited and enthusiastic to be at the premiere of B1. You know what I mean? Um, you already know, just the simple fact that we're able to document our story and tell it and bring this illustrious cast of characters together. We need more of this, you know what I mean? This is only the beginning, so, you know, I'm gonna let you know post-documentary, my review and everything, but right now, I'm very enthusiastic about it. Salute to Rick Mathis, Boyce Watkins, and everybody involved in the film. Peace. B1, the curriculum, I partner with Queen Thais. It's a curriculum that goes with the, with the film, so it mirrors the film. From the beginning to the end of this year, this is what I want to make sure my children are empowered with, right? So we're not waiting on anybody else to recognize the greatness within our babies. We are creating the opportunities. This film has practical solutions. Black people have to make our own movies. We got to have our own media. Black people must have our own industry. Uh, Hollywood has misrepresented us for way too long. They got us out here looking like pimps and hoes and hustlers and thieves and things that we're just not, you know. And also, we are, we are looking up to the wrong heroes. We're looking up to the wrong people. We can't continue to be hypocritical. We can't continue to, uh, to, to live this lie that other people told us. We can't continue to allow ourselves to be seen in a way that simply is not accurate. We cannot continue to let the world hide intelligent black people and only feature the ignorance and the buffoonery and the backward behaviors. We want to honor you with an award because when I did Black Friday, she was one of the first politicians to buy the film Black Friday and pass it out to people in underserved communities. Uh, first of all, my name is Abel Mabel Thomas. I served as city council in Atlanta citywide and state representative retired as of last year. Um, I've known Rick from his first film, and I thought it was important that people in the community know about it, and so we gave them out throughout the um, low-income, low-wealth communities. Uh, and now this particular film is absolutely excellent. 
It's exactly what we need at exactly the right time. Uh, it tells us that there is a code, a black code, something that we need to follow so that we can strengthen ourselves and strengthen our children. Because all is this about making sure our children move forward. They are 25% of the population, but 100% of our future. And so this film here is for everybody, everybody. Every black person in America needs this film. If you need a blueprint, if you need a, a plan, if you need a way to step forward, this film in a simple, in a way that people can understand says, we must put ourselves first. Pro-black, no shame in the game. Right on Rick, right on Bryce Watkins. Thank you for the work. Live and direct, just coming out of the premiere of the B1 movie, I feel that this is an extraordinary film and it couldn't be better timing, you know what I'm saying? Based on what we've just recently seen with our people, our people are excited about the concept of unity, you know what I'm saying? They see the utility in unity. So for a movie to come along, a documentary to come along and perfectly pull all of these conversational pieces together, the way that they did, I feel is masterful. The whole transformation of blackness and being who we are already called from the beginning of time, from Africa all the way to America to be kings and queens and princesses and prince. And so that movie was so inspirational just to see what they put together and how they're trying to change our mindset to transform it in through our music and the importance of not just in basketball and in um, baseball, sports and entertainment, that we're more than just that. Why wouldn't you put your health, your wealth, your culture, your family first? Why does that even have to be something that you're trained to do as opposed to something that you naturally do? Uh, you have to be one within yourself first before you can be universal. And I think that uh, the film covered a lot of aspects of the development we need within ourselves and amongst our people. And for you to understand yourself, you have to deal with your inner self, your inner standing, before you can get the understanding and overstanding. When you get the overstanding, then you can go ahead and create, you can go ahead and make things manifest. And uh, I like the different aspects of our lives that was in the film. And uh, I think that um, the filmmakers and the um, participants in the film, they were, they did it very eloquently, but they did it in a manner that we can relate to. And that's very important. Peace and love. My name is Jahi Gilkey. I'm a young activist, educator, family man. I was a supporter and hands-on with the B1 film. Mr. Rick is my mentor, so I've been working with him for many years. He's a mentor, family friend, big brother. So we sat down and he wanted to get some things from the younger generation so that we can connect it all, bridge the gap. And it was really interesting that through the process of making the film, I think before, either before or through the middle of the film, his mother passed away, unfortunately. And um, you know, he, he took it pretty hard in the beginning, but as he got through it, he realized that his mother was just an angel on the other side, helping him through the film. There's no secret to success. There's a system to success. How people show up in life is a reflection of their state of mind. I write this down. How people live their lives are a result of their story they believe about themselves. When you speak, here's what you do. Distract, dispute, and inspire. There's a story where they said Jesus came to town, this lady was suffering from a physical affliction, and the next line said, he saw her. I see you, and I see greatness in you. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Peace, family brother Rezus. I'm here, and I'm here with True Flicks Network. You already know what it is. 